Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder and it is tailgate season. I would love to cook on an offset smoker at a tailgate, but getting this thing loaded into a truck, loaded back out, loaded back in again to come home, isn't super convenient. So I have something else we can use. We have a portable pellet grill. And today we're gonna to be using it to cook pig wings, something you may not have heard of and something almost certainly your guests have never tried but are gonna love. So let me get this thing set up and we'll get started. Et voila, portable pellet grill. I heard about pig wings because one of the participants in a barbecue class I did here in Kentucky brought some pig wings along that he had cooked at home. I tried them, they were amazing. And so I thought I gotta cook some of those on the channel. And as a matter of fact, we're doing another barbecue class in North Carolina, the 20th and 21st of January. So if you wanna show up for that, it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna go through all the regular barbecue items and then we might do some cool stuff like barbacoa. But regardless, let's get these things ready. What we're gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna take them out of the package. I'm gonna season them with uh, some pork rub that I'm working on. So for this kind of thing, I like a more complex rub. Number one, we're doing it on a pellet smoker. Number two, it's gonna be you know a tailgate environment. It's not gonna be like a regular sit down dinner. It's gotta be maximum flavor because you're gonna get one wing and it better taste like a million bucks. So we're gonna use this. And at that point, we're gonna put it on the smoker at 200 degrees. We have the smoke setting all the way up to 10. And so hopefully we get some good smoke flavor on these. Now you may be wondering what the heck is a pig wing? I'd like to point out that buffalo also don't have wings, but that's a side issue. But in all seriousness, it comes from the shank of the pig. So you have a small bone surrounded by a lot of meat, which means you have something that's gonna be really satisfying when you eat it in the end. And these Porter Road pig wings, they're actually a hybrid of two different heritage breeds. And so the amount of flavor you get in these is absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to try these in a couple hours. As you can see, there's not a lot of bone and a whole lot of meat. That means a really substantial snack. maximize flavor I'm using some knotty wood plum pellets my favorite but they're sold out right now so I'm really sorry that's a long pellet We're gonna let those guys cook for about an hour at 200, then we're gonna bump it up to 250 and get those things tender. There's a lot of connective tissue in there, so we need to really break that down so we have something juicy and tender at the end. All right, we've done an hour at 200, an hour at 250, so let's see where we are. Not bad. Internal temp of 184, so we're well on our way. Ooh, look at the juice. These things are cooking pretty gently. I don't see anything drying out or burning on the outside. So I'm not even gonna wrap them. I'm just gonna let them keep going. And one of the things with a tailgate cook is that you wanna keep things simple because the more complicated it gets, the harder it is to execute, especially on a game day. There are a bunch of people around, probably some alcoholic beverages are being consumed. You wanna keep it simple. And this is a very simple way to do it. Okay, it's been three and a half hours. I think these guys are done and it's starting to rain, so we gotta do this quickly. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. I don't like butter. I'm gonna get these off, take them inside, and then we'll taste them. All 
All right, we pulled these guys off. It stopped raining, so that's good. But if you look at these, they are humongous, like absolutely like brontosaurus in comparison to a regular chicken wing. Regular chicken wing, you get a couple bites of actual chicken. With this, it's like the size of a chicken thigh, but everything's exposed. You have lots of smoke and rub and flavor on the outside, and the connective tissue on the inside is gonna mean it's gonna be super succulent. So I can't wait to eat these things. They smell amazing. And with the Porter Road pork, it's gonna be even more flavorful than you'd get with just regular commodity pork. And I wanna thank today's sponsor, Porter Road, because when it comes to the food that they're creating, they're unbelievable. They have incredible value, and they're just putting out some of the best food you can possibly get at any price. So the way they raise their beef, they're raised on pasture, and they're finished with some grain. They're basically raising beef in the best possible way to make great quality food. There's a chasm of a difference between what you get with Porter Road and what you get at the local grocery store. And even local butcher shops close to where I am don't have anything that's nearly the quality you get from Porter Road. And what Porter Road really wants to be is what you could get at a great butcher shop but sent directly to your home. And if you click on the link in the description, you get 15% off of your first order with Porter Road. They make phenomenal food. One thing I've learned in cooking meat for a long time is that the quality of the meat, the quality of the protein that you're cooking matters. And it doesn't matter just a little bit, it matters a ton. There's a reason why top steakhouses are very particular about where they source their meat. There's a reason why the top barbecue joints are very particular about where they source their meat. So if you're trying to cook the best food you can at home, make sure you're getting great quality proteins to have the best possible results. And if you're doing this for a tailgate and you wanna blow people's minds, cook yourself some pork wings and order them from Porter Road. They're gonna be incredible. I can't wait to dig into these. So click on the link in the description. You'll get 15% off your first order. If you click on the link, the discount automatically applies. You'll get a discount on some of the best meat you can possibly get. One of the benefits of cooking pig wings is that you don't have to gnaw around a small bone to get little bites of meat here and there. I can take a bite out of this as big as I want. And I wanna give a shout out to Ben Munkittrick for introducing me to these at a barbecue class. I am very thankful. These things are awesome. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh. <laughs> it's hot, but so good. Should we see if the Amazon guy wants a pig wing? Hey, how's it going? You want a pig wing? All right. Good morning, very hot. All right. Okay. Oh, you like it? Good. Sorry, I got interrupted there. I uh, was getting an Amazon delivery, and so we decided to give one of the pig wings to the Amazon delivery driver. When I eat this, it's got all the richness of like heritage breed pork. And then it's got the seasoning we put on the outside. It's got smoke on the outside. And here's the thing that I think is really special about this. Everyone's had dry chicken. Everyone's even had dry dark meat chicken. But this, because of that connective tissue, it's like that volcano beef shank where all of that collagen hydrolyzed to form gelatin. So every bite is succulent. So it's a kind of a different texture in your mouth when you're eating it than just rendered fat, even though there is some fat in there, but it's just so rich, so decadent. And with the rub on the outside, the smoke on the outside, it's like everything you want in a little barbecue snack. So I've been to a lot of tailgates and had a lot of bad food. This is one of those things that's easy to cook. I think it took three and a half hours to make something incredible. If I went to a barbecue restaurant and I was served this, I'd say, hey, what are you guys doing? This is awesome. So check this out. It's super, super cool. And then if you're at some place where somebody's you know, cooking chicken wings beside you, it's like, oh, you wanna try one of our wings? They're gonna be like, oh my goodness, what did you do? Well, you just cooked some pig wings. So I'm gonna give one more bite, final thoughts. It's so good. See a smoke ring on there? And all this gelatin that forms in there. Man, one more test. Clean bone. So, I guess you could make a pig wing sandwich if you want it. You guys look at this, okay? All this is the gelatin that you created. It's super slippery in there. That is what makes it so succulent. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm super impressed with these things. I am definitely going to be cooking these things again in the future. They are amazing. Now, this is all about convenience. You can make it more complicated. So if you wanna be more involved in the cooking, you could wrap it, maybe throw some lard in there to make them extra fatty and juicy and just glisten with rendered fat. If you don't wanna to have to deal with that on a game day, if you're tailgating, if you're just cooking in your backyard, I would suggest wrapping in maybe butcher paper and some lard that you've smoked before. You can even infuse that lard with some other things and then it's even one step more. But for simple tailgate food, you're not gonna beat this.
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I would encourage you all to go get some of these, try to make them yourself. You're gonna absolutely love them. It's rare that I stumble onto a barbecue item that I haven't cooked before that I love. Some of them are okay. These I absolutely love. They are phenomenal. Try them out for yourself. If you wanna follow me other places, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mad Scientist Barbecue. And finally, you can check out my Patreon if you wanna get exclusive content, if you wanna get priority access to barbecue classes. And if you wanna enter the contest for smokers that we give away each month, then check out the Patreon page. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.